They thought they had Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladine, licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezram. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the Mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear them. Bloody dog catcher. <laughs> Quiet, fool or you'll bring trouble on our heads. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, master. But be wary of ruffians. The sons of whores are always lurking near the stands. Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. Sitting, 
para ti mi Dios, suplices este programa, tu fe, princeps melatia celestis, satanama rosqua, spiritus melatus. in pursuit of the truth. Forgive me, Master Inquisitor, but some sacks have fallen off our wheelbarrow. We must clear them away. So the passage will be blocked for a while. Are you using your fists instead of brooms? You mean this? <laughs> it's nothing, just a friendly scuffle. If you're going to the fair, the main street is the fastest route. To all daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge, a tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant. One majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Phoebus. Well, well. The Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen, the town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, Mayor. What is your name, Master? Mortimer. Maradine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. 
Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the Monument to Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. Supposed to guard. Good. Merde. Sacre bleu. Enough. Time for real combat. Meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you.
Hey, children. Have you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So maybe my grandpa is a vampire? He he's got to be a hundred years old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I guess the town's treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metadine, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, His Eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. on Helga. Sure did. I've never seen bigger ones in my life. I hear she likes the hump, but only the Spanish way. What way is that? How should I know? I've never been to Spain. I bet you have to grab her by those jugs like a bull by the horns. They say he pissed on his eminence's boots while drunk. It's good he didn't shit in them. Or they torture the poor bastard. Haven't seen him. Gap to detail, you mean? Haven't seen him. He was here a moment ago. Look, he even left some flower behind. Upon reaching Golgotha, the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you! Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. 
It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom. So he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my paint. Jesus snatched the Centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius' head, thus fulfilling the oath and payment of one head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King! And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the earth.